the MBTA Transit Police Department. Excuse my appearance today. Uh, I'm on bike patrol, as you can see. I'm fighting a rainstorm on the way over. With that being said, I'm here to talk to the many kids that are going to be attending the camps over at UMass Boston. I believe there's about 700 to 1,000 kids attending those camps. And I'd say the majority of those kids are going to be utilizing the uh, station here at uh, JFK. Three things I'm going to cover today. It's going to be safety, cell phone robberies, and uh, just being orderly and fear evasion. Actually, four things. Uh, we're going to be covering fear evasion right here on the station. Um, while we're up here, I wanted to talk about fear evasion. Uh, I think most of you know that you got to pay to go through the stations. Uh, there's four machines in the back here that you can buy tickets from. I don't know if they're going to be uh, supplying discount tea passes yet, as of yet, but uh, there will be no fear evasion while you're attending school. There should be any fear evasion anyway. But while you're attending these camps, you have to pay to come in. Now, if there's an issue where you just don't have the money, you got to spend the money on something else during school, speak to one of the counselors, and it'll be up to them whether they tap you in or not. If there's not a counselor available, you'll see a CSA agent. You can direct the CSA over there. You can uh, speak to a CSA agent, discuss your issue with them, tell them why you don't have money to get on the train to get home, and it'll be in his discretion whether or not he's going to allow you to leave. If there's an officer up here, like myself or other officers, come to us. Again, do not sneak in. Do not piggyback your way through the fear gates. Explain to the officer why you don't have the money. Nine times out of the ten, he's going to let you in. Uh, if it happens the next day, there's a good chance they're not going to let you in. Unless it's a very good reason. Three or more times, then they're going to uh, tell you you're going to have to find another way of transportation. You need to have a parent come here and pick you up by just start walking towards your home. Okay? So, uh, that being said, we're going to make our way through here and discuss a little bit of the orderly fashion how. Uh, while you're waiting for your train, what to do and what not to do. Okay, this is basically the area that you're gonna be standing while you're waiting for your train. You can actually give them a view of the area. There's a snack shop over here, stairways, what have you. This is the area where you're gonna be standing while you're waiting for your train. Now, I know going home, you're out of camp, you're gonna be fooling around, joking around, that's fine. But you gotta keep the hospital down to a minimum because there's other people in the stations, nobody wants to get bumped into, nobody wants to listen to any foul language, none of that, okay? Try to keep an orderly fashion and keep the yelling down to a minimum. Or the language, uh, not the, you can speak as much as you want. Uh, just try not to have any uh, disrespect, uh, disrespectful language while you're in the station. It's not a fan of the people that are uh, here that have to listen to that. Uh, we have two stairways leading down to the Ashmore platform. Uh, do not hang on the stairways. Absolutely do not hang on the stairways. Uh, the people are trying to get up and down. They don't want to uh, be having a squeeze by 15 to 20 kids that are just hanging around on the stairways. You can hang here. You can hang on the platform. You can hang up here and wait for the signal to say there's a train coming. Or you can just go down to the platforms and wait on the platform. Um, keep the cell phone used down to a minimum while you're here. We have our share of robberies in the station. Uh, I would say don't use them at all unless you uh, necessarily have to. You have to call a parent or a loved one to give information. Um, be discreet about it. Uh, don't flash it around. Uh, I'm going to discuss more on cell phone robbies as we make our way down to the platform. Okay. Okay, we're down here at the platform. Uh, everyone heading into Ashmore will be on this side. Anybody heading towards the north part of the city, Andrew, uh, Broadway, Airway, we'll be going on that side. This is where the horse play is not allowed at all. You have to 
be down here in an orderly fashion, wait for your train, you can talk amongst yourselves, you can laugh and joke, but definitely no horseplay. We have a yellow line here that's about a foot and a half long. Get that yellow line there. You have to remain behind this yellow area. It's there for a reason, for your safety. You cannot be anywhere beyond that yellow line, especially when a train is coming. Uh, again, the safety down here is paramount. You have to be aware of your surroundings. This is another area right here where people steal cell phones too. They steal them, they run up the stairway, and they're out the station. I'm going to go through a little bit more about cell phone robberies when a train arrives. We're going to have a little skit exactly where and where not to stand when you're using your cell phone. Uh, if something drops in the pit, we call in here the pit. If you drop your iPod, cell phone, money, wallet, watch, whatever, by no means attempt to go in there. I don't care if the train's coming for another 20 minutes. Do not go into the pit. Besides, it's arrestable if you go in there. What you do is you run upstairs, you get a hold of an officer or a CSA agent or some T official, let them know what you dropped in there. And if it's required that we stop the train, we're not going to stop the train for somebody dropping a quarter on the train tracks. Okay, but if it's something important like a cell phone, a wallet, a watch, we will have the train stopped and someone will go into the pit and retrieve that merchandise. Again, never, under no circumstances, do anybody jump into this pit, okay? So I think that more or less covers safety, fear evasion, and uh, robberies. Um, again, when a train comes, uh, we're gonna go through a little skit and just show you guys what not to do when you're on the train when you, when you have your cell phones. I, Personally, would not use your cell phone at all when you're on the train. Not use it at all. Doesn't mean they're going to rob it while they're on the train. They could actually see you, put it in your pocket when you get off the station. Someone could rob you outside the station. I'm not trying to put the fear into anybody, uh, but I just want you to make aware of things that do and can happen anywhere in the city, not just in our stations. So we'll wait for the next train to arrive and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, when you're on the train, this is being on the train, not right now. Again, only use your cell phones on an absolute emergency if you have them. Uh, I suggest you don't use them until you get on your way on your way home. Uh, we have robberies in and out of the station again, but what we're doing is we're going to simulate something that happens all the time when someone's holding a cell phone, especially if they're standing by a door. This is what usually happens. Okay, that's a no-no. Do not stand by the doors using your cell phones. Okay, uh, we'll continue outside. Okay, uh, well, thank you for your time. I hope uh, it was it was a bit informal for you. Um, remember, safety is the key, though. You want to be safe out here in the in the stations. Uh, be aware of your surroundings and uh, pay your fare. Okay, I hope you all have a great camp and we'll be meeting soon. Thank you.